you know, this may be uh, the midpoint event for winter, and I uh, didn't, didn't think this would be how it would be starting out this episode today. Welcome back, everyone, to Going Medieval, where we are getting raided by wolves, because wolves are known to raid villages and uh, loot and pillage and burn it to the ground. Um, good old wolf raid. So, it is nighttime. I think everyone's asleep. Um, not really ready for this. No pre-announcement. And, yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. So, we'll hit okay. Holy cow. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wolves. Coming up very quickly to our area. In fact, are, are they actually kind of already here? So, they're going to have to come around a little bit but they're gonna they're gonna be in the town here in like two seconds so let's first off draft everyone lovely and we are going to have to you know what while I'm paused thinking there's, there's a couple things I need to address um, number one I have two people to name from comments on previous episodes, Cafalor and Rise. So let's go ahead and name you guys in here. Uh, ba -ba. Let's do you as Cafalor. All right. And then Joanne, you finally get renamed to Rise. Rise Cross and Cafalor Hope. Welcome to the town. And if we go ahead and prepare for battle, that would be great. Okay, wolves are basically here. Here we go. All right, defensive perimeter. seem to be content sitting up there and honestly I'm fine with them if they sit up there too he's trying to bite oh bit barth wolves coming in as well honestly this is kind of nice because hopefully we'll get some some meat out of all this <laughs> if we can get I don't know what happened there um, if we get some meat out of all this um, that'll kind of solve a small food shortage that I was about to run into and solve this episode Oh, punch him in the face, Alex. Good lord. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, they handled that very, very well. Very straightforward. Uh, the wolves did not all rush at once. If they did that, they probably would have had a lot more success. But, you know, wolves. Not super bright. Alright, plenty of time to go to bed now. Get some wolf carcass. Great, and we can butcher those up. Um, we have our products being made now, some smoked meat, which is good. The last two buildings turned out well. Also, uh, we are starting to produce some bricks, which have unlocked some new uh, structure options for us, just like a brick color version of all of, all of our current options. Um, all right, this episode, let's go to research, take a look here. Uh, how close are we to stone block cutting? Because that's kind of what I want to get into next. We're just one book away. So that we can cut some stone blocks. And I'm thinking, I did dig out this area a little bit up here. Uh, just to kind of clean up some of the, the pottiness or the pothole kind of areas of of dirt. So I, I may be able to do a masonry hut back here. We're going to give that a shot this episode. 
and then hopefully be done with winter and we'll just move in straight into spring have a good time in spring uh, we get to rework some of the farmland grow some new things specifically uh, you know for our alcohol making efforts should be helpful And once we get our stone cutting area, we can talk about, you know, potential actual defensive structures. Um, and what I want to do is I just kind of want to re-sculpt this hillside a little bit, uh, push the terrain out a little bit over here, get a couple towers made, um, and then widen out the path. Because right now what's happening is people are running along this edge and that getting shot at from above. And so if I raise this up by one, right, and give them a little bit of a higher platform to stand on, and then also kind of cut away some of the mountain for like a gentle slope sort of uh, ramp, that'll kind of open up the, the sight line. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So that, that's kind of like my, my current big defensive um, plan at least on this side of the hill uh, we'll probably do that also back here on this side because there'll be kind of two entry points up to our large plateau and then you know the wolves spawned up here so if people start spawning around here um, we need to think about building some defensive walls along here as well and they do have areas that you know I can't build out here because this is reserved for spawning All right, our food situation seems to be resolved, which is good. Let's take a look at our tailoring situation. So we, we have some clothes made, not a whole lot. I doubt our tailoring skill is very high yet. So, you know, leather summer clothes. Things like that. And we're also kind of out of fabric, too, now that I think about it. That'll be another bigger farm project as I try and terrace out some of this area. So the defensive structures will prevent people from getting on these sections, I think. At least I hope. Or maybe I can terrace out back here for farms and just make it a non-entry point. That might be better. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Ooh, interesting. I can't get rid of that slope. I can get rid of this one though. And this one. I'll go too, too far, I think. There we go. Wonderful. So those slopes are getting kind of cleaned up. I know a lot of people kind of suggest this, you know, as a, as a way to funnel people through. Um, Oh, it was always a plan, just takes a while. You know, I'd rather get settled in like a decent looking village first. That's Uther's priority number one. All right, so we got those. Here's kind of our test pathway. You can see it didn't turn out the way that I really wanted it. Um, let's see what the brick floor looks like because I'm thinking about making those potential roads. So we'll want to see what that looks like. We have research available for stone block cutting. Great. That's not too bad. And honestly, I might be able to do limestone and then like that as like a trim for like plaza areas. Um, but then just sparse lime, limestone otherwise might be better. Getting 
leather. Okay, so we're just out of supplies there. That's that's okay. Both kilns are firing up more bricks. Which I might go ahead and expand on maybe like a max 300 sort of thing. Since these do take some time to run through. How's the food storage situation looking? Little light. Definitely a little light. Did we end up harvesting all the wolves? We did. We didn't put them in the storage barn, did we? Or did we already butcher them all? We already butchered them all. These are running, that's good. I'm kind of just at three times normal speed. Oh, pack of deer coming through. And now we can talk about uh, designing the little masonry yard. You know what, let's, let's use clay brick for pillars on this. Keep it a little bit different. So, let's do standard entry living space. Nothing fancy there. Um, and then just like a covered plain area for the, for the crafting stuff. So let's do stonemason's bench. gonna run like a almost like a porch offshoot sort of thing for the outside that'll be good couple windows cross there and also Back here. Kind of like the wooden door myself. Also, it's kind of the only option we have. Really wish there was a option to like refine wood into planks. I feel like they need a plank wood piece. I'm kind of tired of these vertical ones. Honestly. All right, fence. Oop. Easy. Then outside we can do like a limestone floor. Maybe a brick floor for this interior. Something different. And we can do a clay shingle roof. On here also. I think that's a new roof type for us. Doable. 
Okay, lovely. I think I'm gonna replace the wooden walls. Not, not a fan of the combination. It's kind of for the same reason um, I didn't like it with the clay building next to it. But, you know, you gotta try things before you know for sure. Literally just delete half the structure. Wonderful. All right. Nice, sturdy looking building. Can't rebuild all the roof until the wall pieces get put back on. Okay, and now we can do the roof again. Just a spot. Stone cutting. Um, so we have 300. Let me just store all that here. Stone off that area. Oh, look, we, we actually planted some birch trees. So these are the only tree types that we can grow, um, but each one can yield 55 wood and 55 uh, sticks. So that'll be handy long term. Need to potentially mine some more limestone. down there. Nice beautiful snow day. All right, let's try the wicker roof trick again. Just along the pillars. Nowhere else. cold snap. Now what I wanted to see is the last one of the season probably and it's going to last until the end of the season just a couple days. Um, nothing we can really do about that. Let's get some torches on this structure. Some interior work. Excited to get a um, uh, 
new furniture set soon. I think we're kind of due for it. And I need to make... Ooh, you know what? I could I could try this limestone brick item out. Make a chimney. Oh, okay. Rise, you you passed out. Moderate hyperthermia. Okay, you woke back up. See if you can make it inside. Good. Great. Made it to bed. Safe. Should be fine. Now that you've made it inside, uh, what's the what's the temperature in here? One degree. It's just above freezing. Even with windows, the door is still bloody wide open. It's a normal day. Good lord. Why... Why is it like this? I'm gonna destroy this wooden door and remake it? Because it's, it's concerning that's just wide open the whole time. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because now it's kind of considered outside. No one's happy. No one is happy with me at all. Furniture. That'll give us uh, better beds, um, which means we can talk about replacing all of our current beds with them soon. Kilns going, kilns are going. Get some more wood. Don't have a food shortage or anything. God, if we get attacked right now. We really don't want to be attacked right now. Okay, good. They can start working on the roof soon. Oh, this is this is the finished texture on the wooden or the stone the wooden brick the stone brick item. It looks pretty clean. Stone masonry is going to be a pretty good job for whoever is going to be uh, doing that for most of their career here around the area. Man, Uthras is like so good. Almost 30 skills on all his double stars. He's not really good at much else, but uh, construction, growing, harvesting. Pretty good. 
I was just chilling outside here. Oh, the cold snap's over. Wow. All right. So the final day. Final day has arrived. This door is finally shut. It's 18 degrees in here. Wonderful. We kept them nice and warm. So when spring arrives, I can turn off the uh, braziers. And that'll be the plan. Alright, do we have clay? Okay, yeah, we have some clay, so they're going to be coming over here to make some items. We don't really make much of it quickly, do we? It's a bit of a long process. So it might be a good reason to actually get all six running. Oh, a helpful, a hopeful helpmate. Sinmund, approach with his hand help and a warm open smile. Okay, he, he just learned about us. He's just joining. He's not getting chased by anyone. Um, <clears throat> he's pretty good at tailoring. You might be a permanent tailor. Um, kind of guy. He's he's super good. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, finally a new person. More efficiency. Galore. Nice. What's, uh, what's some of his traits? He's a... Uh, Gobbler, you know, he's uh, um, yeah, he, he definitely eats quickly. Um, punch drunk and plus five percent intellectual and gains better XP. That's pretty good. Look at look at that mustache on that man. What a mad lad! All right. He's our permanent tailor. Well, that occasionally does research and smithing. That is pretty cool. Very, very good. All right, spring is uh, pretty much right around the corner. Um, that building's almost constructed, but you can see we're replanting our forest now, which honestly, I'm going to need a lot more now that I know how many trees I bloody go through. I'm spacing them out like this, just so it looks like a little bit more of a natural grow pattern uh, than anything. Uh, we're just waiting on clay from the kilns on everything else. We're replanting the current farm, which we'll rework once we get thinking about the defenses. Um, skill wise, are you good? I don't know what you're good at. So you know what? You're gonna all weapons, all shields, all headgear, all armor. You can get yourself equipped out. More archers would probably be good, in my opinion. Oh, yep, Ch decided to go archer. Very good. All right, so we'll have fabric again soon um, with the new field. So spring, this spring, what I want to focus on is honestly getting farm and defenses up ASAP. So our next research structure is probably going to be defensive structures, which will allow us to start building traps, which I'm honestly hesitant on even doing. I kind of don't want traps. I'm going to stay away from traps. So we'll go uh, wooden weaponry, and then we can start getting armor, armorer, and uh, cooking. 
some decorative items, which would be good. Better bows. Um, blacksmithing. Research 2. Which is required for all this stuff. Fermentation. Furniture 2, which is just more tables. Do they just have one guy making all of the artwork on here? I don't know. I, I just expected a lot more options from like a art perspective uh, and create a building perspective by now. That's a little disappointing. A little disappointing. Okay. So with that, um, I think we'll get this episode over with new people um the village is surviving very well um we're, we're on a good path going forward again if you guys want to join the village and have a name a person named after you i can't promise a profession or uh, that they will survive <laughs> but uh don't worry um you can do so just leave a comment down below and subscribe for more creative goodness such as this hit that like button we'll see you all in the next one